Hello and welcome to another session of our Java tutorial. So today we are going to create a clock and as you can see we already have a clock class and then our main method. So the first thing we will do here is create an object. So we say timer and then we call our object timer. Uh, timer equals to and then new and then new timer so we copy this one here and then paste it here and then this timer we get it from a package when you are over like this you will see the package it is java.util and this is the the package to schedule the tasks to run at a fixed rate in our case it will be uh, per second once per second okay and then the next uh, task we do is to we will need a timer task timer and then task and then let, we'll just call this one uh, task equals to new let's copy this and then paste it here and then we over here we get java.util package so we import this package here and then when I do like this I over like this we will have to implement a run method so let me do this and then over like this we add unimplemented methods here and then this is our run method it will be overridden so the timer task here is uh, from this package here and it is used to schedule to run at a specified time or after a specified delay and also the program will create an anonymous inner class that uh, will extend that extends the timer task class and overrides this this run method here so the next thing now that we will do after this is to create a logic here so let me remove this and then so we need to implement our logic here so we will uh, we say we use this simple simple date format simple date format and then uh, say date format so this is a, a object that we create in order to format our date uh, we will it's from a class called a, a package called java dot text the dot simple date format and we will import it in a second so you say equals to new and then simple date format we put it here and then how do we want to format our date so uh, it will be our hour minute and second so let's say h h m m s s for seconds and then from there uh we will let's do a system dot print let's import this package first so i over here and then i double click this and then simple date format this is the package that we just imported which will help us to format this date and then next let's print sys out sys out and then in here we will need uh, the method which is called the date format method the format method of the simple date format we will have to access that method and use it also we will use the new date to get the current date so we say system out the print line and then uh, here we put a date format which is this one we copy and paste it here and put a dot so that we can access the format format and then double click on it and then new and then date this will give us the current date all right and then it is from this package here so if i over like this uh, java.util.date so it is from this package so we have we now have all our three packages we will still need another one uh, but for now let's continue and uh, this uh, method 
this comes all the way here so let me put the semicolon to end that block of code and then the next thing we do now is to use a schedule at fixed rate so we will say we will use this timer here we copy that we will also use this task over here so we say timer dot and then we access the schedule at fixed rate at fixed rate schedule at fixed rate i think this is the one so we use this task here and then we want it to run immediately so we put zero and then it will be uh, 1000 1000 milliseconds that is once per second so let's say one two three and then let's try to run if this will work uh, so we have everything we need uh, let me see as you can see it's running and it's generating our time as at the time of this uh, of creating this code it's 9.33 it's the time is 9.33 and you can see it's correct so guys um, that's all for today and I'll see you next time and if you have any questions just put it on the comment section thank you so much